this is kind of hard to understand, but sometimes you can try so hard at something. Sometimes you can be so, so prepared and still fail. And with every time you fail, it's painful. It causes sadness. And especially as I saw last night, it causes disappointment. I've often said a man's character is not judged after he celebrates a victory by, but, but by what he does when his back is against the wall. So no matter how great the setback, how severe the failure, you never give up. You never give up. You pick yourself up, you brush yourself off, you push forward, you move on, you adapt, you overcome. That is what I believe. Everybody here, everybody watching, I won't be stopped. I can't be stopped. You're either committed or you aren't. You're either willing to do everything it takes whatever that might be, or you aren't. You either are willing to, to go through hell and high water and fire and fucking brimstone to get to your goals, or you aren't. And that's why you'll never be what you want to be. That's why you'll never have what you want to have. That's why you'll never accomplish what you all over the place. Success, guys, a very, very lonely road, man. And along that road, you're not going to see too many friends. You're going to see your shadow most often. you got to trust in the heart of hearts. Inside what you're doing, what you believe in, is a worthy cause to win a fight. I wish I could tell you you're tired, go take a break. I wish I could tell you tired, rest for a year. I wish I could tell you that, that it's going to get easier. I wish I could tell you it's going to get easier. I wish I could tell you that if you just keep going, it's going to get lighter. The, the, weight, the weight is going to get lighter. I wish I could tell you that when you get to the point where enough is enough, when you get to the point where it hurt real bad, when you get to the point when it's over, when they're tired, when they're frustrated, when they're ready to give up, when they spent their last dime, that's when they get started. But what you cannot do is you cannot quit doing the process. You cannot give up because it ain't what you see. You cannot give up. Work on yourself. Work on your focus. You cannot stop. You gotta work. The problem with you is you see difficult as something negative. I want you to see difficult differently. Are you hearing me? I need you to push through that stuff. Push through it. You can't get through it. The more you go through, the more difficult it is, the more challenging it is. Listen to me, the harder it is. Are you hearing me? The more challenging it is, all you doing, baby, is building muscle. In life, you're either going to a storm in a storm or you coming out it's a part of life there's no way around it so just be careful not to allow the trials and the tribulations to consume you i don't care if you're a billionaire i don't care if you're a ceo of one of the most important companies i don't care if you're an entertainer like i don't care who you are you can go to the moon we all have problems what i'm trying to tell you is this though problems are a part of life but guess what? They're not like. It's not going to be easy. There are moments when you're going to doubt yourself. There are rough times are going to come, but they have not come to stay. No matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, you've got to make it your personal business to make it happen. I've noticed something. Deep down inside of us, there lies a bright light. A light that feels so dim when we're surrounded by darkness. When all we feel is hopelessness and shame and 
distress and this darkness seems to overpower any light that may be there. And it feels like there is no hope, there is no light at the end of the tunnel. It feels like our lives are just over. It's through. But that's not true. Because deep down inside, there is a beautiful light. There is a beautiful light that will liberate your mind, that will liberate your free soul, that will take you to a new level in life. But by that light, surrounded by that light is the darkness of your past, the shame, the regret, the guilt, the worry. Deep down inside, you have to dig deep down inside of yourself. And you're going to have to look that darkness in its eyes. And not look away from the darkness, but rather look straight in the eyes and say, I no longer need you. I am no longer that darkness. And so that darkness will not thrive. It will not survive. That darkness will die. That darkness will go away. Not because you forced it out, but because you no longer fear the darkness. You let go of, your, you let go of the darkness. Freeing up space for the light. And when the light gains power, when the light regains its power, it will overpower any darkness that may try to seep and seek into your mind and body and life. It will stride far greater than any darkness has. But you must free yourself from the dark by going deep into the depths of it and understanding it. By not running your entire life from it, but instead, right now, today, tomorrow, soon, look it in the eyes and say, I no longer fear you. I have a life to live. Nothing is hopeless. Nothing is worthless. I am powerful. I am beautiful. I am amazing. And it's time for me to start believing it. No longer do I want to stay in the same routine, stay in the same mindset, the same conditioned mind. I want to release the power of my mind. I want to dive deep into the depths of the light, into the depths of inner peace, into the depths of joy and happiness and the state of being, not into the depths of worry and stress and depression and anxiety and shame and guilt, but stay away. Not because I'm scared of it, but because I'm free from it, because I no longer need it, because I have one life and I'm going to live it to my fullest of Ability. I just knew in my heart to just go, go all into this endeavor, and so I went, no questions asked. And it wasn't a picnic. The rise up is tough, but it's who you become in the process when you're chasing this unknown, when you eliminate fears. And so my offering is to really analyze what you love to do and to go chase it because making money should not be your focus to do something that you don't really love to make money. What is that? That's all that is, is a transference of stress. You are taking on stress at this job that you don't like, this is stressful for you, so that you have less stress when it comes to finances. So is that eliminating the stress? No, you're transferring it from finances to eat at a little better place, to live in a little better apartment, to then develop more stress while you're at work. Does that make sense? The money will come when you're really good at something. I can guarantee it when you really have an effect because that will create a polarizing reaction in people that they will be drawn to you and you cannot be really good at something if you don't love what you're doing that's the bottom line chase this uncertainty where your heart is telling you to go because it knows that it will discover itself if you choose to go down this ambiguity if you choose to go unfold this mystery because you will discover what you're really made of if you choose to go down this abyss.